What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth, coming at y'all with my conditioning session, y'all. Um, as y'all know, the last time I told you, I love, love, love this here moisturizing treatment. It is the Mega Silk Olive Moisturizing Treatment with Avocado and Silk that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply, along with this shampoo. Both of these together are a banger for me, okay? A banger. Lux, this is Silk Elements Lux, Luxury moisturizing shampoo and this is the silk elements mega silk they also have a luxury moisturizing conditioner to go with this shampoo but i didn't i was looking at the reviews um on sally.com and the, the conditioner that go with this shampoo didn't have you know people didn't see good results so uh but the shampoo people loved it so i went with what the people said and the people have spoken and i agree with the people okay and then i read the reviews on this one so i uh got this conditioner and they got a shampoo that go with this uh conditioner as well and like i said i read the reviews and the people said that this conditioner was bomb and their shampoo wasn't really all that and then this shampoo was bomb and their conditioner wasn't all that so what i did i mix and match the two and together they work fabulous okay nobody said that they mix and match the two but i read i read the reviews and that's what i had got out of that okay so i think i need to take my hair loose for this but i don't want to should i i guess it'll get all my strands if i do um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair loose, y'all. I don't want to, because then that's gonna be a whole lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Of. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it loose so I can, um, get the conditioning there like I need to. Why well, I still got these gloves on, y'all? Y'all know, if y'all watched my video yesterday, I had just colored my hair, but, you know, this is just gonna be a series of videos, because I can't make no one long 2,000-minute video. I can't. So, I'm just gonna take this loose. And then I'm going to prepare my hair, we'll section off my hair so I can um, get it deep conditioned, okay? Need to get it deep conditioned. And I still want to deep condition it in sections. I'm just trying to think of, you know, of a master plan real quick, real quick. Now see how that dye took real good, It was even though it was only on the edges, y'all. Be careful when you're taking out these little bands and make sure you don't snatch out your hair. Sometimes I might snatch out a strangle too, y'all, for real. But, um, that's what I get when I snatch that one out. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take my hair out for the conditioning process. As long as I ain't got to detangle my hair twice, then I'm fine. Because when you, when you wash your hair with braids, or without braids, you got to detangle it after you sh shampoo it the first time. Then you go in there shampoo it again. You try to get some more tangles out with your second shampoo. Then, if you coloring it, you got to rinse that out and detangle that before you condition it. And then when you condition it, you got to detangle that out after you condition it. Okay? Like, you got to, de you got to detangle your hair like four, five times, seem like, when you, um, at least that's my process if I'm coloring. I got to do, like, at least three detangles. And the less detangling I have to do, the better. And it's the better for your hair because, um... The more chances you're going to break more hair off. Because you're going to break some hair while you're detangling. It's inevitable. I mean, you're just going to break, have some breakage when you're combing through your hair so much. And you have more of a chance doing it, uh, breaking more hair, the more times you detangle. So, the less the less times you detangle your hair, um, the better, okay? Doing your uh, shampoo and conditioning process. Less is better with detangling, okay? That's why I use the braiding technique. And then with this right here, oh my God, I'm just going to take these sections, each section a loose, just like I just did, and I'm going to put conditioner on them like this. And y'all see the last time I didn't slather it on it like I had did that first time when I was like, oh no, honey, uh-uh. I'm going to just do it lightly. Well, I, this ain't light, but this ain't real super duper heavy at the same time. But I don't put on enough. I don't like to put on no little bit, though. You know, I ain't no, I'm, I'm heavy handed with my conditioner, but I'm going to try to be generous with this one as much as I can, y'all. Because I do like to make sure my conditioner is on there for real because I don't be, you know, I be want my hair to, to do great with my condition. Get off of me now. God. I want my hair to do great now. So I'm just going to go condition my edges. Because you know you, I just put that dye in them. Even though it's a semi-permanent dye. You still got to 
do a deep condition on wherever you put that at. And it's just the same as I was to color my whole head. I would do a deep condition after that process as well. So this is how I'm going to do each little section here. Each one of the little sections going to get done the same way. And I ain't using no comb for this whole process. I'm going to make sure I come right here to these ends. And get those in and out. Okay. Got to make sure you deep condition those ends. Because guess what y'all. Y'all should already know. That the ends are the oldest and weakest part of your hair. Well they the oldest for sure. I don't know. Depends on how you take care of your hair. They the weakest. It all depends on how you take care of your hair. Because sometimes the root of your hair can be the weakest. If you done messed it up with something. I don't know. But um, that is how I'm going to do each little section. And I'm going to burn that off, clip that off or whatever, get my clip here. And I'm going to have four sections of deep conditioner, as you guys can see, okay? That's how I deep condition my hair and while it's in sections. And I just do the same thing all around my whole entire head, okay, y'all? And like I said, this method is easiest method for me to deal with less stress less stress okay less stress is very important for my soul okay i don't got time to be getting mad while i'm trying to comb my hair do my hair and all that stuff because y'all already know if you colored and you got hair on your head honey we be having a time with our hair so um the less the less you got to stress about your hair especially the shampoo process um the better so braid it on up if you if you you know can you might not get it right the first time but if you keep practicing um you'll get better at it so the the be the more you do it the better you're gonna get the 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 most important part for me was to get my braids to a, a certain tightness where they wouldn't come loose and also not too tight that i couldn't tolerate it, you know not put too much tension on my hair while i'm while it's while i'm washing it they wouldn't come loose so that was my that was my hardest part and then once i got my system down packed i'm i'm straight this is the only way i ever want to wash my hair um while I'm, you know, whenever my wash day comes, this is the only way I ever want to wash it because it's so much easier. So much easier. You know, I had tried to get my kids to do it. They was like, I can't wash my hair in braids. I'm like, shoot, you better. This, this, this wash day don't be no joke, y'all, honey. But I love my final results when I'm done and I ain't had to be struggle with doing all that detangling 500 times. And just to thank y'all, I've been doing that all my life. All my life I've been detangling. I wish somebody would have showed me how to do this when I was little and made me think it still worked. I probably could have tried it a long time ago and I would have been so much more stress free on my wash days. My, my hair would have been good and long by then. My hair probably would have been to the flow, okay? <laughs> Listen. I wish I would know. I could tell. I wish I could tell everybody I know to take on to this method because it is so much easier for me. And somebody dealing with anxiety like me, honey, child, I ain't got time. I got issues. Issues and bigger fish to fry, y'all. Did it be worried about how to detangle this hair here? Okay. So as y'all can see, I just kind of slapped it on there that time. <laughs> I just kind of slapped it on there. And then I go back through the parts and make sure it's on there, you know, pretty decent. And get it all in, y'all. Get it all in. Okay, y'all, that's it for that section, for real. Go ahead and massage that in. Make sure it gets some all those strands. Run my fingers through it a little bit as I can. I do not take the comb through my hair like we used to do back in the days. I was always told to comb the conditioner through your hair. No, don't comb the conditioner through your hair. Don't do that. Just make sure you got the conditioner uh, on your strands. And um, when, you're, when you sit on your hooded dryer or your cap or whatever you're going to do, um, your conditioner is going to penetrate throughout your hair strands just make sure you massage it in and get it on as many strands as you can try to get it on every strand now don't just miss a patch because you think the conditioner gonna travel there okay don't just do that intentionally but the conditioner is going to 
the heat from the conditioner is going to make it spread throughout the rest of those sections. It's really, really close to it, touching nearby, okay? So I'm going to get this in feel like a long strand here. Okay, I'm going to get this, wrap it up, then I'm going to do the rest of my hair. Then I will be back with y'all. No, I ain't going to be back with y'all. Then I'm going to do the rest of my hair. And that's how I do it, y'all. That is really easy. Simple as one, two, three. And once I'm done, I will rinse it out and show you what it looks like when it's all rinsed out and dry. Well, when it's all rinsed out, okay? Not dry. Alright, y'all be oh okay, is that it? Yeah, when it when I rinse it out, I'll be back. How about that? <laughs>